Welcome to Handling Compressed Gas Cylinders in the Laboratory, an interactive training program. This course should be reviewed to assure that the information conforms to recommended procedures, as well as to any federal, state, or local laws regarding any facility's operations. The producer makes no warranty, expressed or implied, that the information in this course is accurate or appropriate for any particular facility's environment or any individual employee's personal situation. Unauthorized duplication of this course is prohibited under copyright laws. Upon completing this course, you should be aware of where compressed gas cylinders may be located in your lab, understand the dangers involved with working with compressed gas, and know how to hook compressed gas cylinders into gas systems correctly. Press the forward arrow to begin the introduction to handling compressed gas cylinders in the laboratory. Nowadays, it's hard to find a laboratory that doesn't contain some type of compressed gas. Laboratories use these gases in many ways, to fuel heating devices like Bunsen burners, to keep materials and equipment cool, as a part of experiments and processes themselves. While some laboratories now pipe gases in from a central storage location,